Hey guys, it's Lauren and Halston's taking a bath and it is Sunday night, the night before our first workout with Insanity Max 30. I know you guys are doing awesome. So many people have texted me and said, first of all, if they tried Shakeology that they love it. I know Lori loves it, Paul loves it. Um, he didn't even eat any ice cream and cake at a birthday party today because he um, was just full and satisfied. So that's awesome. Um, I, on the other hand, super cheated at my son's third birthday party this weekend and ate like a huge piece of cake. And um, I just honestly had like a cheat day on Saturday because I was just, honestly, white cake with buttercream icing is my very favorite food in life. So I go for it. If it's there, I'm gonna go for it. But I'll, I'll do the work in. I'm actually working out tonight, which is an off day. Um, but I just decided to do some extra work. So I hope you guys are looking at the meal plans. Um, if you're not, um, or if you can't get it, I know I think Tiffany said that one of the links kind of says that there's nothing there. So I will email it to you guys or I will put a file. There is a PDF file in our group that's called seven day clean eating meal plan. I think that's kind of similar. So look at that. It's just a PDF. But I thought since I was just coming home from Trader Joe's that I would show you guys kind of what I buy um, for, for meal prep and how I do prep. So first of all paper <laughs> um, but anyway let's see okay so if you can see like bananas I bought like a million bananas I think I bought like 10 or 12 because Halston loves bananas and he eats them all the time but what I do is I take um, one banana for each day whoops and I peel them and put them in like a little snack size bag and freeze them um, so that when I'm ready to make a Shakeology, I'll have a frozen banana instead of just a regular banana and it stops it from going bad. So if I don't eat them for a couple weeks, they're still good in the freezer for my shakes. So I usually freeze five at a time and then I have regular bananas left over to eat. Yum. Um, I love these grape tomatoes. I usually cut them in half and add them to these cute little Parisian cucumbers. They're small. So I like cutting these up with the tomatoes and I use, which guys, I'm like obsessed with this. I know it's not 100% natural, but it's pretty good. It's called Three Zeros and they have, um, it's a dressing and it's zero carb, zero calories, zero fat. I got it at HEB. I think you can get it at most grocery stores, but um, it's pretty natural except for like a couple of ingredients. So, but it's like a free food basically. So what I do is I get a bunch of these and I add this in one of my containers and it kind of marinates in there and it's really delicious so that's a really good veggie snack throughout the day in fact I think I have one there yep I sure do that's not finished yet and um, let's see oh Trader Joe's I can't brag about them enough I just love their prepackaged stuff so this is their grilled white meat chicken it's already been grilled it's really delicious boneless skinless you know grilled chicken you can eat it on salads, pastas, you can throw it in with some quinoa. Um, you can put it in a wrap if you get the Ezekiel wrap. So that's like a super healthy no carb wrap. Um, so I just keep this and then it's already, you can keep it in this, but I like to portion, portion control it in my containers. So that's already done and cooked. I don't feel like cooking, just grilled chicken. I got this cause I usually make like a healthy soup every week. Um, just in case I want something warmer and heartier. So I will put this turkey into my soup. And then this is just romaine lettuce. Um, let's see. Oh, again, another Trader Joe thing that I love, turkey bolognese. It's just sauce and it's pretty natural. So it's like turkey instead of beef. So I like to put this over spaghetti squash. You could also put it in with some quinoa. Um, again, you could also use it as kind of like a sauce with you know, a wrap or you could put this inside of a sweet potato. That would be good. So. Just think about that, it's already there for you. You don't have to cook it. I just like this medley of vegetables. It's broccoli, baby carrots, mushrooms, kind of Asian. Um, sometimes I'll throw in just some shrimp or some lobster tails um, or a piece of fish. So this is good to have on hand. And then again, for Shakeology, I just like to mix it up. I have strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate, and I just got frozen blueberries. What else? frozen raspberries that's always yummy those are really for my shakes and the frozen blueberries um sometimes i like to take those out and roll them in greek yogurt with a little bit of honey and freeze them so they're like greek yogurt covered blueberries those are really good nice little snack and i just went ahead and got these broccoli florets for hummus and like a healthy snack during the day um let's see 
I got a big, big bag of green beans just so I can cook a little bit and put everything in my containers. This is great too. This is at, again, Trader Joe's, which this is why I go here. It's not really a one-stop shop. Usually I don't buy like toilet paper there. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's really cheap for fresh food. So this is three fillets of mahi mahi. You can see they're like, it's pretty thick. Um, and this was $8.91. So under $10 for three fillets, that's gonna be three meals for me. Or if you have a family of four, I know some of you six, um, you know, you could pop these in and you could get everybody eating for around, you know, around, I guess, three dollars a piece so that's pretty good for a, a, an entree um let's see oh celery i really would encourage you to substitute celery for chips pita chips i mean i dip this in hummus a ton um i also dip it in like soups that i make as just like some extra crunch and once you start doing it after a while it gets really normal um so i just wash this chop it up put it in my containers and you're ready to go you can also put it in some little snack baggies too um, just make it better portions. Um, asparagus, I love it. These are already grilled and they're frozen. Asparagus for me gets wilted and goes bad really quickly when it's fresh. So I just like to get the frozen ones. Plus, asparagus is like a diuretic um, and really it just detoxifies you. That's why if you go to the bathroom and you have an asparagus smell, it's because literally it's pulling the toxins out of you. Um, so this is a really good meal to eat, especially if you're trying to get lean. Hummus, love it. These are just at Trader Joe's, you can get the four. So this is regular hummus, um, roasted garlic, spicy hummus, and tomato basil. Ooh, that'll be good, I didn't even notice that, yum. Um, let's see, I've got pizzas for H. Baby carrots, these are also a really good option if you're not gonna be eating um, chips, crunchy. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, Luna bars, when I'm on the go, and I don't know where this would fit in with the containers, but this is a very natural option for like a protein-ish bar on the go that's really good, like just a quick snack. Um, so give them a try, I think they're delicious. And again, I will rep Trader Joe's because quinoa is kind of hard to cook for people that don't cook quinoa often. It should be the consistency of like a fluffy rice, if you can see there. And if you get it raw or like in its seed form, you have to soak it and you have to wait, you have to cook it in a pot. You have to do a lot to make sure that it's cooked right. And when it's not cooked right, you're not gonna like it. It's hard, it's not as fluffy. Um, so these at Trader Joe's, they're already cooked, pre-cooked bags, I'll show you. And you can also portion these out really well. Sorry guys, I don't have any makeup on or anything. I've been running around all day, but anyway, they're just in these bags and you just pop them in the microwave for like four minutes and you have perfectly cooked quinoa. I think it's like two servings, so um, it's pretty awesome. So I think that is all. Ooh, coconut flakes. I love these. In my chocolate shakeology, I'll mix almond milk, coconut water, coconut flakes, and chocolate, and it's kind of like an almond jo joy shakeology. It's really good. So these are all natural coconut flakes. I eat them also sometimes when I'm craving chips or when I'm craving something. They're actually coconut chips. Um, they're really good, so check out Trader Joe's for that as well. I'm sure you can get those other places. I've just never really seen them. And then make sure to season. Seasoning is free. So I got some lemon pepper here that's in the grinder. I've got some red chili pepper because I think I ran out. What else? I think that's it, guys. Oh, I'm going to try this. This looks good. I might put it on top of the fish and let you know how it goes. But this is pesto and quinoa, which I'm not sure why you would need the quinoa because it's gonna be in just such a small amount, but sounds good. So I love pesto, and pesto is a healthy fat. It's olive oil and basil and pine nuts. So um, if you're looking for just like a really strong flavor, like an Italian-ish kind of flavor, get some pesto and use it. It'll be really good. And you have room for your healthy fat, so there you go. Um, anyway, guys, so that's kind of everything that I bought today. You can see it's kind of taking up everywhere, but um, I will later portion it and um, then I'll come back to this video. Hey guys, so I just kind of wanted to show you the portioning, I guess the portions that I made. Um, but first of all, let's see, like so for, you can see, I bought some trail mix and I just went ahead and put them in little snack bags and the snack size bags are so awesome. Um, what I did is I measured them out with the containers for 21 day fix or for our meal plan and then I just put them in snack bags. So if you don't want to take 
containers with you everywhere. You can just use them to measure and then put them in little bags. Um, celery, I'll just portion out as I go, but I just basically wash them and cut them and put them in a big box. That way, big container, that way I can just use them for hummus or peanut butter or any kind of thing going forward. These are also my carrots, which are in a big box. Sweet potatoes, which are portioned out. Um, I leave my vegetables in bags until I need to use them and I just kind of portion them out. Here is a healthy fat portion of hummus. Um, I usually cut my apples up. I'm kind of running low right now, but I usually cut them up just because it's easier to transport. Let's see. I haven't done anything with those yet. I did go ahead and make a... Whoop, that's from Halston's birthday. I did go ahead and make a like cucumber marinade, which these are really good, and I just portion those out when I need them. And then, of course, like I said before, I went ahead and made these frozen bananas um, that are really easy to just throw in your Shakeology. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it guys. If you have any other healthy, if you need any other healthy eating tips or meal prep tips, or if you have been, gone through your own meal prep and you have some tips for me or for the group, please feel free to share um, underneath this video or comment or ask questions, okay? Um, but that's pretty much it for now and I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Bye.